Hi, this is Farz and welcome back to Farz Solo C. I hope you are doing well. It's been a while, but I'm back with a brand new video. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to retouch the skin in Photoshop. This type of skin retouching is very popular among Indian and Bangladeshi portrait photographer. It has become popular because it enhances the skin texture and gives you a glowing, smooth skin. So let's get started. So here is the picture I'm gonna retouch and uh, this is after the color correction you can uh, do retouch before or after color grading or color correction it doesn't really matter. So the first step is I want to increase the exposure of the skin as I want to uh, add a glowing effect uh, I want to create a glowing skin so I uh, want to add little bit brightness to the skin you can use any tool like curves or uh, DOS tool you can use DOS tool but I think there are a uh, recent version of camera raw is the best option to do it so for this just uh, press command and Z to copy the layer and then go to the filter and open it on camera raw filter okay now go to this masking option and come into this people section and here you will find the person just click on this and you will see some option like facial skin and body skin so select these two and click on this create option and now just increase the exposure not too much uh, keep it real I think 0 0.10 plus 0 0.10 is looking good uh, you can increase the shadows little bit here and also if you want okay you can add some texture too so let's add some texture here i'm going with 12 so that's it so now look at this this was the before and this is after okay so it's done now press okay okay so look at this this was the before and this is after you can rename it to exposure okay now again copy the layer by pressing command and z and we want to remove the blemishes in this layer so let's rename it to blemishes okay so for, to remove blemishes you can use any tool like spot healing brush tool remove tool healing tool pass tool so i am gonna use healing brush tool that's a lot easier and also accurate so you need to select the sample area first and then paint over the spot paint over the blemishes so press and hold option key or alt key on your keyboard and select the spot and now click on the blemishes to remove like this press and hold option pick sample and paint it's pretty simple and easy okay take your time and do it perfectly So I think it's done look at this this was the before and this is after okay so the basic editing is done okay now again copy this layer twice press command and Z or control and Z twice okay rename this one to oops rename this one to blur and this one to texture okay hide the texture layer come into the blur layer uh, okay you can convert this to a, a smart object because uh, if it is a smart object you can always come back and read it so let's convert this to layer to a smart object okay that's good okay hide the texture layer come to the blur and go to the uh, filter blur and select the Gaussian blur okay so increase the radius value gradually and and stop where where you see look at this now there is no texture and I want this in this layer okay so I'm going with let's go with 20 pixels radius so okay press okay it looks a buttery smooth skin okay now 
enable the texture layer active the texture layer and sense the blending mode to linear light okay then go to the filter other and select the high pass and now increase the radius value gradually and look at this look at this carefully so if you increase it more it it will look ugly okay so i think let's go with 2.7 or maybe 2.9 i think 2.9 or let's go with 3 now the texture looks good and also the skin looks good so press okay but the shine the glow is now reduced but we want that glow in the skin so for this go to the selective color option and now select here white and select this absolute option and just drag this black slider to the left and look at this so look at this this was the before and just it looks really good i'm i'm really really happy with this look at this this was the before and this is after if you want you can decrease it like this or from the slider you can also decrease okay let's go with this and now but look at this the effect is applied all over the image but we don't want it we just want it on the skin so for this select this three layer by pressing command or control key just click on this three layer and press command and z or control and z to make a group and now we want to create a negative mask to create a negative mask press and hold option or alt key and now just click on this mask icon okay now press b to select the brush foreground color white and i'm going with opacity 64 percent or 50 percent and now just paint with the skin very carefully okay paint If you want to see the area, press and hold option or alt key and click on the mask. Now you will get the idea where you have painted. Okay. Press and hold option or alt key again and click on the mask to get back. So I think it looks good. I think this is fine. So look at this. This was the before and this is after. Look at the glow. Look at this. Looks really, really great. So this was the before and this is after look at the changes look at this skin it looks really really good if you think this is too much just increase the effect to 70 to 80 percent and look at this this was the before and this is after it looks really really good the skin looks really beautiful the skin texture looks really beautiful so so that's it I hope you love this technique if you did hit the like button leave your comments and don't forget to subscribe